What's up everybody, it's your boy Richie Casual from thecasual.co and we got a special one for you today. We hit up Great in Harajuku to check out the launch of Fear of God's fifth collection, first drop, or fifth season first drop, whatever it's called. Couple of Japanese street fashion tastemakers attended the exclusive event as well as an appearance by none other than Jerry Lorenzo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the launch. So apparently the event went off without a hitch. Everybody was happy and plenty of Fear of God fans got to take pictures with Jerry Lorenzo, including your boy. Yeah, we exchanged pleasantries and the crew let me mingle with the likes of Motofumi, AKA Poggy the Man of United Arrows and Yuto Hosokawa of Ready Made, which was definitely on the Reggie meets Tastemakers of Japan bucket list. But that, that's just me, I was happy about that. But enough about me, let's talk about Great and the event. Jerry Lorenzo and Chris Union of Union LA dropped by Japan for the weekend right before Fashion Night Out in Japan, which starts on September 9th. And of course, we'll be out there, but it's also around the time that a whole bunch of fashion events began popping up in Japan. And Great at La Foray kicked it off with the Fear of God fifth collection drop first delivery. Now, Great is one of those stores where you find all of the high-end streetwear brands like Mastermind, ready-made, off-white, and of course, fear of God. And as expected, you better have your wallet ready. But it's also the place where you can frequently see tastemakers, designers, and Japanese celebrities, as it holds some of the most coveted brands under one roof. Now, one misconception about the Japanese is that they are only into their own stuff fashion-wise, which is simply not true. There are a whole contingents of Japanese young and older people alike that are highly involved in Western street fashion, particularly high-end brands. The line just to take a photo with Jerry was several staircases high in the La Foray building as he signed everything from hats, hoodies, and even laptops. And it's these kind of events that make Japan special. I mean, not any more special than anywhere else, but designers like Virgil Abloh, Heron Preston, and of course, Jerry Lorenzo continue to make inroads in Japan and tastemakers like Motofumi and Hiroshi Fujiwara are happy to bring key collaborations from the West to stay up to speed with the increasingly high volume street fashion business. A place like Great is where things like that take shape. By that admission, it's no mistake that the celebrity designer has come full swing in Japan. And many might think that it takes away from Japan's general uniqueness, but it's always been like that. And it's also a place where fashion comes to manifest itself in its purest form where young people and again, older people alike are unafraid to wear the most daring outfits. So it's a natural progression combined with the strong showing of up and coming Western designer powerhouses. It's just another example of how Japan makes it easy with its bold expression through fashion and high engagement. So if you're ever in Tokyo and you hit up Harajuku, hit up great in La Foray. It's awesome. Definitely a spot to hit up even if your pockets are a bit thin, real thin, or not even, yeah, they gotta be thick. That said, this is the state and we're looking forward to covering more events just like these. So follow up on Instagram for the visuals and Twitter for the info. Support the casual on Patreon to help us build the ultimate location for Japanese streetwear. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. Subscribe if you haven't already and keep it casual. It's your boy, Yoroshiku, and we out.